Alright, hello guys, Masane Amahasa Fuelenti Anime here. Today, or I should say, tonight, we're continuing season two of, wait for it, of my manga read along of my second season of Final Destination. We're on chapter two, if you guys haven't seen the first video. Or even the second or third video, which the third video I think covers episode or chapter 7 and 8 for season 2. Well then, this video is going to contain at least chapter 10. Oh yeah. So, without further ado, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh. Cowboy! Okay. I'm getting too out of hand. So. We begin at chapter 10, to Komi's other half named Psycho. So y'all came in my house, or I should say, Jesse Abum Psycho, your daughter's house. <laughs> Which, I live, though. Your daughter seems like a fine vessel, so I live through her said Psycho as she looked at everyone with a bunch of tear. Damn it! Who the hell are you? Just let go of Tukomi, and this can all be over, please, said Jesse as everyone felt sad for Tukomi. Huh? No, because I'm not leaving. I'm gonna kill all of you unless death kills you first. Before I go back inside of Takomi, you must find an 18-year-old girl named Yuki Gajimi. She's the key to ending all of this, said Psycho as her eyes turned back to green. Takomi was in full control of her body again. <sighs> huh? Oh, oh. Here, where's all of you are here? Where's where's mom? said Takomi as she saw a fire in the kitchen that started out of the blue. She ran to save her mom as the kitchen fell on top of Jesse as she burned alive. She was dead. Everyone was scared as Takomi looked up. As she stood up, she cried blood and giggled in madness. <laughs> no, Mom! <laughs> oh, I'm glad she's dead, Takomi. <laughs> you should be too. No, Psycho, I wish I never made you up. <laughs> <laughs> As Lawrence hit Tukomi on the head with a frying pan, Tukomi was knocked out for an hour. As Greg carried Tukomi on his back, Thompson and Lawrence and Greg went to look for an 18-year-old girl named Yuki Gajimi. But as Tukomi woke up, she saw everyone was asleep in a huge house with her. As she saw a hot girl sleeping next to her on a couch. This girl had blue hair, green eyes, a blue tank top, and black shorts with black shoes. This is Yuki Gajimi. Once I woke up, I saw my friends asleep and a smoking hot girl sleeping with me. But as we all woke up, we all realized this is the new transfer student from school. This is Yuki Toraki Gajimi. Our nightmare got even deeper from this point on. Chapter 10 done. So now I can read you this chapter if you guys want. Or I could just put it in a different video. I really don't give a shit. But you know what? I think... I will... Just... Probably put in another video. I have to check the time on this video, so give me at least one second. Yugga, 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 yugga. Alfred! Alfred! Ah! Alright, so we're back. 
and it's time to continue it. <laughs> Alfred! Alfred! Got a vodka download. And yes, that was a fucking pencil. So, chapter 11. Yuki Tora Aki Gajimi becomes a survivor of fate and death with Lawrence to Thompson, Greg, and Tukomi. Alright, so as of 10.08 a.m., huh, death or fate, that's pretty scary, said Yuki as she smoked some weed. As she looked at Tukomi, then got on all fours and crawled to her on her floor. So, Yuki, why are you so calm anyway, said Takomi. Hmm? Because, hotness, I do pot. Huh? Wait, you're Takomi. Who killed that girl, Obimiki? And you're Thompson, which you got beaten up badly. And you're Gregory, that killed... That kid who killed... Your family and your Lawrence, who uh, burnt your house down after your family was also killed. I'm getting in the shower. All of you can stay if you want, said Yuki as she left. But as she left, her hands started to twitch as she got naked and she hopped in the shower as of 12, 10 a.m. in the living room. Huh. So she has a lot of history of all of us. That's kind of strange, don't you think? Said Lawrence. Yes. But, um, trust Yuki and Psycho said if she dies, this ends. Said Greg with hope. Well, you know, Psycho... I can hear her. Psycho lies. I can hear her inside of my head, said Tukomi. They felt out of luck. 12-17 bathroom. Huh. Too bad my sister and my parents died from a robbery. At least I have Tukomi and Thompson and Gregory and Lawrence, my new friends. Huh, the water, it stopped, that's fine, I'll just turn it off, then turn it back on, said Yuki as she saw a black liquid coming out of the shower wall, ugh, it smells like rancid mud, huh, the shower head fell off, ugh, it's dripping all over me, said Yuki as she saw the ceiling fall, on the shower glass door as the wall started to fall off the shower but when the wall did fall on the shower it opened it, it opened the wall up it sprayed black mud on Yuki as the shower was filled with black mud she put her hand against the door and screamed as mud filled to the top. Huh? Yuki, hurry guys, screamed Lawrence as Tukomi kicked the bathroom door down. They saw her in the muddy shower as Tukomi grabbed an axe. She swung it at the shower door. Gah! Come on, break, screamed Tukomi. As the shower door broke, the axe flung out of Takomi's hands as she fell on her ass. As the door broke, Yuki was naked, covered all in black mud. As she was on all fours, crawling over to Takomi in the black muddy liquid on the bathroom floor, she hugged Takomi as she was crying. <laughs> Thank you f f for s saving me, said Takomi as she was crying. Or, no, not Takomi, said you. I'm, I'm sorry, said Yuki as she was crying. Takomi cried and hugged Yuki. Oh, thank God we saved her, said Lawrence. Yep, so, guys, 
Where did the axe go, anyway? Because I don't know, said Thompson, as he looked up at the ceiling. The axe fell in his head. As he fell forwards, dead, making the axe blade go through his head. As they all screamed and ran out the bathroom. <sighs> Ten hours later in the living room. Thanks for cleaning me off. With the hose outside, said Yuki as she had a bit of black mud on her right cheek and a white shirt and brown pants and brown shoes. You're welcome, Yuki. We we are in a chain of death and fate. It skipped you because I saved you, Yuki. So death killed Thompson. We need to be careful. All of us need to be careful said to Komi as they all left Yuki's house. Chapter 11. Done. And you guys know that I usually do three or somewhat chapters in one video. But I am making them very short for suspense. You know? So... I really had fun making this one, and I hope you guys are enjoying the read-along so far. Just, you know, we're gonna cover chapter 12 in a different video along with, well, in my opinion, I don't know if you guys will like it once I read it to you, in my opinion, the third season which comes in at chapter 13. Uh, in my opinion, the third season is the worst one I did that just because, so you guys would ask for lore. But you know what? It's fine. We're all good here. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to end the video there. I hope you guys liked this video. Just subscribe. And comment down below if you want. Hit the bell notification so you are notified for the gaming videos coming up. And for the more manga videos that are coming up. Well, this has been quite a ride thus far. I hope you guys are enjoying my Final Destination manga read along. And I will see all of you in the next one. Peace out. Don't let death get you. Without further ado, I'm out of here. Screw that pup.